Hey, this is Lavender Rose. I have um, something I want to talk to you about. Um, us detect detectors, when we get out, we're digging in the ground and we're digging roots up. Um, these roots could be poison oak, poison ivy, and sumac. Uh, this is very serious. Uh, the stuff is just horrible, horrible when you get it. Um, I want to show you something that actually works, and I would not put my face on it. I would not be on here telling you about it if I hadn't used it, and I didn't know that it absolutely works. Um, so, with that being said, let me show you what it is. This you can get at Walmart. This is like for nurses' shoes, um, and it's also for like baby's wa baby white shoes, and it's non-toxic. Um, a lady told me about this. It was off grid, and she said this is the best stuff because my kids had it way back when, and I've used it for all these years, and it's still good. Uh, you know, I keep buying it. Whenever I run out, I buy some more, and it's always good to have it on hand. Now, what this does, this dries up because uh, poison sumac and all that stuff has runny bubbles, like, and you got to shake this stuff up really good. And I will show you what it looks like on you and why it works so well. Um, uh, this is uh, something you need to keep in your medicine cabinet at all times. Um, this will stop it from from itching. Try to dry it just a little bit so I don't drip it somewhere. Uh, and uh, it will kill the poison ivy and the poison uh, oak within three days if you use it and I'll show you what it looks like on your finger it covers that well this is what really makes it work and it's also a drying agent because it has to dry to, you know, on their shoes or whatever and uh, yes it's shoe polish uh, but it's a different type it doesn't have the um, what do you call it not, it doesn't have the waxy stuff in it, and it doesn't have, um, I don't know, it's kind of a, a glue-like stuff in it. it. It dries dry, and it's kind of a little bit powdery, and this is what helps. Now, just remember, this was Hollywood. You can get it at Walmart, and this is Hollywood's, and uh, that, that's what one side looks like. That's what the other looks like. Get some, put it in your medicine cabinet, and keep it there. Uh, my kids had it, and the lady recommended it to me, and, and it killed it within three days. Uh, and you know how kids are. They're going to scratch. And I told them, I said, if it starts itching, let me know. As soon as it started itching, I'd put more of this on there, and it would stop it from itching. If you're not itching and scratching it, you're not spreading it. And it will kill it within three days. Now, sumac. Sumac's a whole different ball game. Uh, your poison oak and poison ivy, you'll just get little small patches of bumps. Uh, poison sumac, you get a whole, um, like a whole spread of it. It'll just spread a big area, and it's really harder to kill. It, but this will still kill it within about five, uh, about seven days, five, six, seven days. But you got to put it on a lot. I would say five or six times a day. Put it on. Uh, it will kill it. Um, if you have to go to town, everybody's going, but I don't want to go to town and have to, you know, wear that stuff. Wash it off to run to town, run back, get it back on there as quick as you can. Um, but it's better if you can just leave it on and not take it off. Um, it works. I, like I said, I wouldn't put my name. I wouldn't put my face on this. I would not recommend it to you if I had not used it personally. And I know that it works. One thing I added to it. Now, at night, I'm always sleeping like this. You know, you know how you are. Or either you're scratching at night and you don't realize you're doing it. I had it on my arms and on my hands. What I've done is I took a white sock and, um... I cut out for the fingers, right up here at the fingertips, because I wanted them out where I could still do stuff if I wanted to. And I put uh, around the thumb, cut a little hole out for that, put the sock on. It was a nice long sock that covered it. Covered your whole arm like that. Um, put your um, the white shoe polish on there. Everywhere you've got bumps, put it on there. And even if, you, if it feels a little itchy and you're not sure you're getting it yet, put it on there. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, and then you can sleep at night, and if you do this number, it's not going to get all on your face because it spreads by the bubbles. Uh, the uh, little bumps are watery, and when you break that water, it spreads to other places. You can get it in your eyes. You can get it in everything. Do not put this in your eyes. 
that you got to go to the doctor for. But I went to the doctor and they gave me some kind of pink stuff. I can't remember what the name of it was. It didn't help. It didn't do a bit of good. I'm sorry. It just didn't. Um, whenever I found this stuff and the lady told me about it, I was a little skeptical. I thought, mm, I don't know. You know, you know how you are. You kind of go poo-poo it and go, Man, I don't know. But trust me, I've tried it. I've killed a lot of poison with this stuff. And you kill it within three days, three or four days. And, uh, and even if you've got gloves on, dear friend of mine or friend of mine, you know, that uh, is on YouTube, had gloves on. Well, if people don't think about it, but if you touch anywhere, anywhere on your skin with those gloves, you could get the poison. Um, and he did. And I'll not say where he got it or anything. That was, you know, it was just on his skin. Uh, but you take, and you, what if you scratch? You know, you, your nose is always itching. What if you do this number? Or if you scratch, you get a scratch and you want to scratch. The poisons on the gloves, they're going to get into your skin. So wearing gloves is, you know, everybody thinks, oh, well, that saves me from all that stuff. No, it really won't. Um, and when you get in from hunting, here's another thing. Wash your arms, your legs, and your hands with soapy water. Not hot soapy water, cold soapy water, because if you wash it with hot soapy water, it opens your pores up and you could get it in there. Don't do that. Cold water with soap and just wash it off real good, because if it's any of the poison oils on there, it will get rid of it. It'll take it away. Uh, before you get it into the skin. But if you're like us, you're out hunting for hours and hours, you know, and you don't have time to do that. Uh, but you can see it dried really, really good. It's a nice coating on there that keeps it dry. So please, please get you some of this stuff and put it in your cabinet and use it. Um, like I said, five, six times a day. If it starts itching, put it on because it stops it from itching. I don't know how it works, but it works, and it works 100% on that. So, uh, you know, if I get any of this year, I will do a video. I will show you exactly. But um, please get you some because this stuff is nothing to play around with. And this really does work. And if you don't see it that way, it may be, that may have it turned out that way. But it's for, it's for nurses, white nurses' shoes. And, uh, you know, the kid, babies used to wear the white shoes. And you can put it on tennis shoes, too. They recommend you can put it on tennis shoes. So that's it. Please like, subscribe, share with your friends. Hit that like bell so you can get all my um, videos because I do all kinds of stuff. Uh, everything from greenhouse to growing and whatever. And it's not just the metal detectors can get it. It's anybody that goes outside and does any digging. Um, you can get it. And in the summertime, and whenever it's springtime or whenever it starts warming up a little bit, the roots start to swell. And it's so much easier to get it then uh, because, you know, you're digging, you're breaking the roots, the, the juice gets all on there, and that's how you get it. So please, uh, uh, get you some of this stuff. It works. Uh, I wouldn't be telling you if I hadn't used it myself and know that it works. And everybody looks at it and goes, really? That's what I did until I tried it, and now I know that it works. I'm telling you, this is something you need in your medicine chest. And you need to use it and use it often uh, because it will stop it. All right, this is Lavender Rose. Um, please take it to heart. I wouldn't tell you this if it, if it didn't work. And as I said, you can see how good it covers. It makes a really good cover, and it stays on there. And it really works. Um, but put it on uh, three, four, five times a day. Uh, you could probably put it on private parts um, if you happen to uh, need to. Um, try a little small area. If it doesn't, you know, bother you, then try a bigger area. But um, get you some of that and use it because, trust me, nothing is worse than having poison ivy, oak, or sumac. It's just horrible to have, and this will kill it. And that's the main thing. And how it kills it is it dries it up to it finally just goes away. That's how it kills it because um, all of them are runny. And as long as you're scratching, it keeps making more runny little bumps. And if you stop scratching it, then, you know, it goes away. It kills it and gets it gone. All right. Bye for now. Keep watching. Appreciate all of you that's watching. And uh, love to uh, watch your videos as well. So have a great day. Bye for now.